Can can you hear me? Yes, no. Yes, no, I guess you can hear me. Hey guys, how you doing? Um This is not what normally what you would expect from me. I'm usually chatting or um streaming. Um but uh yeah, I'm just I'm on. And um wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um hopefully I'll be on Wednesday. Jesus Christ, he's loud. Um Let's see what else. Um I just uh, decided to come on today cuz I don't know what else to um uh, to do until Wednesday. Um, my day has been, you know, bit of a um, a bit quite interesting. I've been helping my folks move from um, Lula, Georgia, down to Augusta, Georgia, and stuff like that. Um, what else? I'm looking forward to in a few days, so hopefully, to get back on and get back on with you guys and show you um, some gameplay um, Sunday and some game and do some um, Red Dead and I try to do some other games because I'm going to be switching between two different consoles the, the Sony's next generation console and the PlayStation 4 so I will be switching between those two consoles um, starting this week hopefully streaming on both of them um today's just been every day's been a regular day. Um uh, reading the news, been watching IGN, catching little f uh, football scores. Um what else? Just been um just been really just uh chat just been really trying to get the moving process up done and out the way. Um also, just um, hopefully, what I do have in mind going forward is um, different streams, different live streams. So I'm trying to have a live, different live stream title during the week, if possible. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I have like different live streams during the week for you guys as, as much as possible. Trying to find a di uh, actual time that I will be on instead of just coming on random, you know. Um, just trying to make sure that everything is uh, is set up right and everything. So Sunday, hopefully, you will see me on Sunday, and um, also see me. Um, also see me on hmm, see me on here Sunday. Hopefully on Sunday and during the week. So what's coming up is the um, the Red Dead live stream, my latest Red Dead live stream. And um, I because I haven't been on Red Dead in eight, in the in some weeks. The next thing will also be the um, be Red Dead, and then. Probably GTA, of course, during the week. So it'll be Red Dead, GTA. Saturday, I still would do. I'll go continue to do Rogue Company. Um, Sunday, um, I will do the Next Generation Console, Sony's Next Generation Console live stream on my, you know what, the PS5 and stuff. Um, and I will be live streaming. An introductory game, introductory game to um to help to get me uh, accustomed to the controllers for to have the feedback. Also going, also I will also not just do that game. I may just do on that Sunday, which is coming up, um, or early if I feel like doing it, just to surprise you guys, like surprise or early during the week. Um, probably do a Mortal Kombat live stream, you know, on, on Sony's next-gen console. 
Um, maybe I'll do that. Just get custom it in. Uh, also, Fortnite. I'll do Fortnite on there. And um, the other game is called um, Rocket Arena. It's PvP with rockets. So, um, so that sounds like fun. And I will do this during the week. Um, hope as, as much as I can while stuff, all the stuff gets uh, situated. Um, and also just, uh, hmm, what else? Also, I know I'm doing, I'm sorry for doing a lot of stuttering. I haven't been on in a long, it's been some weeks, trying to take care of family matters and everything. Um, but uh, during the, like I was saying, I thank you for joining. I thank y'all for watching. Uh, what I was saying is, you know, doing different PlayStation um, 5 games on Sundays, the ones I'm able to get. I like the free ones, you know. <laughs> the less I have to spend, the better. So Sunday, I'm supposed to, I have planned to um, do the. Um, let me put this phone down. Sunday, I am planning to do the next gen console. So um, oh, I can't believe I did that on stream. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Sunday, I will be doing. I have in my Astro's Playroom to get familiar with the with the with the controllers and Fortnite. And, um, probably, um, Mortal Kombat. So I will try to do streams on, I'll do some streams on that. It's upgraded to the, you know, PS5. Because I already have the game. I got all the characters. Um, what else I'll be doing? Also, I'll be doing on that, on the next gen console. Hmm. I, um, it just depends. Because a lot of, I can... I'll just check and see on the PlayStation Store what games are are that are there is a PlayStation Five version of, and if I have that game, I will will install it. But you have to, I have to be careful of the space because it's not like it's a terabyte of PS Five hard space. It's a little less than that. So hopefully Sony will come out with a um, with a um external hard drive or a list of external hard drives that will support the PlayStation 5. So the games I got in mind so I will continue to do on the PS4 are Rogue, Rogue Company, PUBG, the, new, the usuals, um, what was the of course, um, GTA because they're coming out with a new update soon. Um, and, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, because I got buddies to play Red Dead, and just a lot of other stuff. Um, I've been watching the comics and, and stuff, and watching the comic, not the comics, but the comic articles, been re listening to them, and everything. Um, uh, currently, um, DC Comics is releasing a new series that's, like, set in the future, future, of a lot of the characters, um, a new version of different characters, um, also, um, been watching some YouTube stuff while in the process, while I've been in the process, my, along with my folks hoping to move, um, just, you know, just trying to get, help them move stuff as, as much as I can, be there for family, um, family comes first, <laughs> And, uh, you know, just like to um, say I'm here. I haven't gone anywhere. Um, I just hope that um, going forward, with everything that's going on, that we'll be able to get back to normal soon. But if you have heard, uh, HBO Max is all the new Warner Brothers movies. And coming out next year, starting in the beginning of the month, is Mortal Kombat. The Mortal Kombat reboot. So that's coming out. And a lot of people will be able to watch it. Whoever, to people who have HBO Max, you'll be able to watch it on HBO Max the same day it releases in the theaters. 
And that's what all of them, all the movies they have so far. Um, Wonder Woman was supposed to come out later on this month, around Christmas, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's just that um, everything is, you know, just waiting for stuff to get, make sure everything's situated and finalized. Make sure we got all, make sure I got the uh, everything in. And I do, so I'm just trying to be there for my folks. How was y'all's um, Thanksgiving? Um, Thanksgiving this year has pretty much been different for me. Um, same as, as last year. Um, most people who don't know, um, I lost my sister on July 29th, 2019 to acute leukemia. So during that time up to, so missing her and thinking about her over the holidays, it, it, um, sometimes gets teary eyed at times. God help me. And, you know, so some days it's just, it's uh, easier than others. But I learned to pray and try to deal with the grief in my own way. Um, it's just a lot that's been going on, a lot been happening. Um, so, like, for example, I read, um, let me just bring up the thing about the HBO Max. I'm just going to read it for people who's not too aware of HBO Max. Um, it's HBO Max and movie announcements. Um, so they doing this, I guess they trying to do this with, because of COVID. Because COVID is really have a, impacted everybody's lives. So the movies that's supposed to come out are Matrix 4, Dunes, Reboot, a Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Mortal Kombat, um, the Space Jam sequel. Um, oh, what's another one? Um, the Tom and Jerry movie supposed to come out. So those few movies are supposed to come out sometime, sometime next year, I believe. Um, I think that the Tom and Jerry probably gonna be an all-time favorite for a lot of people. So, now let's talk about games for a minute. A lot of games um, have been pushed back. A lot of games have been canceled. Um, over time, over the years, a lot of games have been canceled or pushed back or changed the development hands. Stuff like that. You know, um, give me one minute.
All right, guys, I'm back. Um, change capture. Uh, okay. All right, I'm back. Um, that's what it says. It's uh, pretty much what it says. Let me read it to you guys. So it discusses that you know different movies, articles, um, what's supposed to come out with. So here's the film release. You got maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen movies. So the list reads off as Mortal Kombat releases January fifteenth. The Little Things release on January 29th, Tom and Jerry be March 5th, Many Saints of Newark releases on March 12th, Reminiscence releases on April 16th, Godzilla vs. Kong, I guess they mean King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, um, <laughs> he, um, that will release on May 21st, um, the Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do, Ooh, creepy, scary too. June fourth, In the Heights, um, June eighteenth, Space Jam, this, the new legacy. That's the sequel to the original to the original one. Um, July sixteenth, The Suicide Squad, of course, in August. Dune, who people are fans of Dune, Elvis movie, November, King Richard movie, November nineteenth. Oh, I love the Matrix, Matrix four. December 22nd, yes, December 22nd, in the other movies, um, Judas and the Black Messiah, Malignant, and Those Who Wish Me Dead, sounds like a dreary, very, very dreary, very dreary, um, so it's just, then, um, for those also, the Justice League, uh, series, uh, the Snyder Cut, that's going to be on HBO Max also coming next month and everything. Um, that's going to be quite a series as well. Because um, it's the whole Justice League movie cut down into four parts. Um, the full vision of Zack Snyder coming to a fold. Because um, we all know in 2017, when they had Joss Whedon um, take over for Zack Snyder... Because Zack Snyder had to leave during because of a family emergency. He had to had to step down from the project because of a family emergency, personal family matters. I think I think it was about his daughter that died, something like that. I'm not sure, but um, Joss Whedon took the helm, and the movie sucked badly. So with Zack Snyder's full vision. I hope it um, genuinely. I hope it does well, so we can see Justice League Two, Justice League Three, or if they ever do Justice League Four through Ten or whatever. Who knows? Um, that's hope. That's what the, uh, I'm hoping for. Um, some more Justice League live action movies. Um, the CW verse, whatever you want to call it. It's Taking on his own perspective, as a lot of people don't know, that Black Lightning Winter Returns, it will be its final season. Four seasons and you're done? It doesn't make any sense to me because it was just starting to gain track. I was actually enjoying seasons one through four and the Infinite Crisis um, thing that happened and everything. Um, then there's the new Wonder Woman series coming out on CW that's in the works um, we know about Superman and Lois series that's coming out next year they're doing Batwoman season 2 with a theme, with an African American black woman, I mean with an African American um, actress as Batwoman so hopefully it's the first season the second season is better than the first season um, as far as TV I've been watching a lot of TV um TV different shows uh, when I'm not watching sports. So currently on my watch list is the Have and Have Nots, um, House of Pain, um, 
Tyler Perry's assistant living with Brown and Cora and the gang and stuff like that. Um, that's what I've been watching and stuff. So, like I said, when Wednesday get here and everything gets fully in on Wednesday, I probably will do a live stream on Wednesday night. I can't make no promises. But I probably will do a live stream on Wednesday night. Um, oh, excuse me. Set up stuff and everything. Um, and probably I just wanted to get on with you guys and discuss topics with you guys. Um, like, And I also like Star Wars. So the Mandalorian latest episode, that was a crazy episode. I mean, Boba Fett. Meets Din Djarin, a foundling, um, who's also like the Mandalorian, the main character, uh, that rebel girls, that lit, that, that former rebel agent, now is a full fledged rebel to the New Republic campaign, political party, or whatever, um, and then him losing the child, um, Grogu, that's the child's name, the Yoda. The baby Yoda name is Grogu. Um, Moff Gideon, his dark troopers. You know, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. You you will be surprised. Um, the team up with Boba Fett and his buddy. I think I think I named Phoenix. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Phoenix, and then the Jaren, the Mandalorian, and the child is is absorbing this force. You know, all in the force and everything. You know, um, there's a there's a scene, and when a child really starts using his force abilities, it happens once he gets captured somewhere in that in that in that series in that in that sequence of stuff. So, watch be on the watch watch the whole thing. Um, that's a good honestly. I think the Mandalorian did a good job with uh, giving us a live action version of. Ahsoka Tano, I think it was, I think it was good. It was very, very good. Um, I like the whole Jedi, her whole Jedi sequence. The she came out of the like a goat, like a ghost or whatever. You see the all you see is the white lightsabers. You know, I mean, it was just phenomenal, man. It was crazy. Um, and for those of y'all that like sports, uh. December 22nd, the NBA going to start their next season. December 22nd. I think I'm right on that one. Just, you know, double check it. Um, It's very the uh, December 22nd. So the NFL is going on. And I know some of y'all got your favorite teams. The NFL has changed so much. I used to have a favorite team. I really did. And the favorite team right now I like, I guess, is the... What's up? How you doing? Thank you for joining. I know it's not me playing games right now, but it that's coming up soon. Um, it'll be sometime this week, hopefully. Uh, but I don't really have a lot of um, favorite teams in the NFL. We chatting about everything: <laughs> sports, movies, comic books, personal stuff. You name it. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't have a lot of favorite teams in the NFL. Right now, it's like the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, um, I like sports. Right now, I'm looking at the Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, maybe they will win the next Super Bowl. That's going to be sometime in February. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But it'll be cool, you know? Um Basketball wise, yeah, the Raiders and the Cardinals. They, I mean, they all all teams have special players. It's just that it's all about the um, the personnel, the offensive personnel, and the defensive personnel, and the coach to get these players ready for the game, get the strategy ready, the different plays ready. <laughs> and how I know this so much is because I used to play football back in high school. Believe it or not, I played football back in high school. I was a linebacker. 
I played two years of JV and one year of varsity. Um, because it was my senior year, so yeah, I played a few games. Um, but it's all about the defensive personnel and making sure the quarterback knows what he's doing. Because if you have a good quarterback and a good offensive line, your chances of winning will always increase. But if you have a good offensive line and a bad quarterback, that just takes the punch right there. That just, uh, you know, makes the whole house stink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just that a lot of people, when they look for a team, they look at the personnel and all that. So let's get, I'll give you a good example. The Atlanta Falcons haven't won a Super Bowl in God knows how long. They probably have one of the lowest records in the league right now. Um, They fired their head coach. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even probably their personnel and everything. Let me just go to NFL.com real quick. Let me just just pull these numbers up and everything. Um, Let's see. Um, That's the movies. It's NFL.com. I'm thinking I may get Cyber, Cyberpunk 2077. This depends on how good the game is on next gen. So I'm going to get it for my next gen console probably. Maybe, maybe not. But I mean, don't quote me on it. Um, let's just look at the rankings right now. Go to... Ooh, Kansas City. Ooh. New England. Surprisingly. Okay, okay. Now let's go to scores, um, standings. That's what I'm looking for. All right, here we go. The top, the top four, the top teams right now are the Seahawks, Rams, or New Orleans Patriots. No, shoot, New Orleans State. My bad. My bad. My bad. The New Orleans Saints. Um, Falcons got four and eight. It's highly possible. I don't know if they're going to make it or not. But yeah, they, they season had a rough start. So, Washington football team. They don't say Washington Redskins no more. Even Dallas is three and eight. So, I don't really see these teams. Any team that doesn't have over five wins... I don't see them in the playoffs. So right now, it's looking like... I mean, it just looks it looks good for some teams. looks bad for other teams. You know? Um, right now, um, let's see. So like, since today is Sunday... I read like um so I've been reading different books. So one book I've read is called um Jesus Calling. And I read that every day. It's a book you have to read daily. And um this other book, I forgot what it's called, but I read it I read that along with that, you know. Um but other than that, I mean I mean, I don't really do a lot of reading like that. But it's going to come down to spiritual growth and stuff. I do that kind of reading. Um, I haven't read a comic book, graphic novel in a long time. It's been so long. Um, But it has been so long since I read one. So, I'm like... Whatever I'm like, I just like reading different stuff, you know. I like different movies, different films, um, video game animations, cutscenes, all of that stuff. Um, my own website is I I like it, you know. Um, I like create. I like to be creative. You know, I just like to be creative in everything. So. Um, I appreciate those who've been watching. I know this is not the most exciting stream. Um, 
I will, and also, I also plan to do streams like this before I get on the game and stream different games with you guys. But um, I'm gonna make this. If y'all like these kind of streams, I will do one along with the gaming stream. I'm gonna try to do one. If you like them, like on if I do one like on Saturday or Sunday. Um. Yeah, you took a quick break. <laughs> but uh, if you like them, um, I understand. Don't let it. Don't let the battery die. <laughs> but if you like these kind of face streams, you know me just talking, um, and stuff. I really appreciate it. You know, um, it's kind of hard trying to balance streaming on Twitch and family with your, especially if you don't have kids, but you got older parents, you know, so that's another thing. I think that um, once I get my hand, once I'm able to open up my the next my next gen console over here, um, I'm a, like I said, be what be, be, be certain. Ugh, crap. Hmm. Be sure to watch Sunday. <laughs> PlayStation or Xbox. I'm gonna keep it real with you. And this will give you your answer. I've been with PlayStation for a long time. Why would I go to Xbox when I know that PlayStation will give me virtual reality games? You know what I'm saying? So that just answers your question right there. Um And you know, it's 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 just pretty much how it is, you know. <laughs> Xbox is nice, but I'm like this. When it comes down to longevity, um, I am like this. It's an old adage. You stick with the partner you're with, right? You stick with the partner that brought you to where you are, right? That's what I'm like with PlayStation. Because I know PlayStation is going to come out with some crazy stuff. You know, and here's the thing with Sony. Funny thing is, if you have like an old controller, um, TV remote controller made by Sony, it will work on your Sony device, no matter how old it is. That's the most craziest thing i ever seen. Um... Like, here's another thing. How many of y'all watch the Consumer Electronics Show? When they show up all these new laptops, or actually go visit it before COVID ever happened. But they show all these new laptops. Now, there was one laptop that had three screens. Um, and that laptop was made by Razer. They called it Project... The project name was Project Valerie, I believe. And it had three screens. And I was looking for that Joker in Best Buy. I'm like, okay, this is what I want right here. I got a laptop with three screens. I can do my work. I can do this. I can do that. And it never popped up. It never showed up. You know, so how do you find... In order to have your own three screens... Um... I don't have your own three screens. You have to um, install one here and install, you know, do the screen setup, of course. Um, well, let me lean back a little bit. Ooh. Oh, this feels a whole lot better. Um, <laughs> I got to undo my these wires and stuff for this, um, for my headset. But, um... You know, you think about all of the um, setup options and all the technical stuff you have to do to get the three screens or to get the setup you want. You know, um, it's crazy. Um, I probably, you know what? I'm feeling like playing some of my old, some of my music I created. So I'm going to do that. 
Um, I ain't gonna play nobody else's but mine. That's how I am. Go to. Profile. Uh, my insights and everything. But yeah, y'all support my little, you know, music I created, man. It took a while to create this stuff. Like, for real, for real. Put it together. I'm going to play one of them. I'm going to play my very first one. No, I'm going to do this. Just play this one. Yeah, you know, so I just feel like we all have our differences, we all have our opinions and stuff, but as long as we um can we respect one another, we should be able to you know, coexist in the world we live in. So that's what's wrong in the world today. Not everybody. Um, hold on, let me get this off real quick. Even though I like it. Um, but not everybody um, exi- can um, put their feelings to the side. I'm sorry for scratching my head, but not everybody can put their feelings to the side and, um, you know, and, you know, get along with one another, you know, so it's just something to think about, you know, people don't like to put their feelings in check, you know, people don't like to, um, acknowledge when they're right, I mean, not acknowledge when they're right, but acknowledge the fact when they have done wrong. You know, um, deep down inside, I mean, we are all human beings. If we make a mistake, we make a mistake. And it's our job to correct those mistakes when we go forward in life. You know, I always like people who are motivational speakers because they know what they're talking about when they're trying to get to the next point or the next destination of their life. Um, Whether it includes marriage with kids or children or anything like that. You know, so it's just something to think about. I mean, you think it's just something to think about. And um, I'm just, you know, glad that I'm still around. You know, I'm th- I thank God for life. You know, um, thank God for allowing me to live among people and share my thoughts and everything. Um I'm just thankful to be around, you know. Um, I'm just really thankful just to be around and stuff, you know. Um, I may, I may watch. I don't know. I ain't gonna watch no movie tonight. I'm gonna try to sit here and come up with different topics to talk about with you guys. Um, and um, you can tell me y'all favorite. Y'all, what you like to talk about, what you want to um, see in my streams, um, what ideas you want to want me to try to incorporate if I'm able to do that, you know, um, just tell me what y'all like, you know, I stream my games and stuff that I have, you know, and I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying the stream, you are being interactive with me, you are loving my energy, um, all of that stuff, you know, um, I just want to make sure of that and stuff. I just want to make sure that you're loving my streams and, um, uh, so, um, 
I like, for example, I like to sing, and um, like I would um do uh, like I did my own little um. Let me see. Um, I don't know what he said. Person said. Um, um, I don't know what. It, okay. But um, I like um, I like to sing. So, like, I came up with my own little you know Twitch song or whatever. Um. Call it's the radio hour, you know. I sing it sometimes, um, because I try to keep myself different and unique. You know, I'll sing a little bit of it. Um, I would, I'll just sing the full thing, but it'd be like, you know, it'd be like this. I just close my eyes, be like, ba 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 ba, la la la, ba 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 ba. It is the, it's the radio hour, the radio hour with me, la 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 la, the radio hour, the radio hour with yours truly, ba 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 ba, it's the radio hour, ba ba ba, the radio hour, la 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 la, the radio hour. The radio hour with me, yeah. You know, so it comes up. You know, I sing. I like a different songs and stuff. And you know, I just I I like to be creative. You know, and I like to show my creativity with people. You know, show what I can, what I could do or whatever, um, and stuff. Uh, and everything, you know, so, I just like to show, like, because I'm a gamer, you know, and I have a degree, a master's in game production and management, but I'm a gamer at heart, so, like, when I finish my, when I, once I finish my degree, you know, I'm like this, what's the next best thing for me, and what I am going to do to inspire other people, you know, how am I going to get folks to really join and everything? Join the Twitch and everything. Um, what am I going to do and everything besides, you know, I'm just going to be myself. If you can't be yourself, who can you be, right? And sometimes we all, we often forget about all of that. You know, um, people sometimes forget how to, you know, when they make a lot of money, some people forget how to the basic concept things of you know how to love one another, how to show respect for one another, how to not um, degrade a person's job, you know, because that's that's the only job they were able to do, you know. Um, a lot of people forget about that kind of stuff, and you know, it's okay. This oh yeah, I got money now. I'm making money, but the fact of the matter is. If your heart ain't right, if your soul ain't right, with the money you make, you don't let money control you and consume your life. You can be like, if it don't make money, then it don't make sense or whatever. You can say that, but at the same time, you have to be careful how you portray yourself. You know, you have to be careful with how you, how others view you, even in your own family. Because sometimes your family may have high regards for you and expect high and have high expectations of you. And you say something stupid, they look at you like you lost your mind. You know, I'm just t telling you some real stuff here. You know, people forget about all of that stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's up to the person to make the most logical and right decisions in life. You know, life only comes but one time. But how you live it, how you impact people, positive or negatively, it will always make a difference. You know, and sometimes we um, get beside ourselves when it comes down to certain things. I'm going to give you a good example. Let's say I wish a girl happy birthday. Because today's her birthday, right? And she jumped into the gun. Oh, you going to give me something for my birthday? It's my birthday. You going to give me something? You know, I'm like this. Look, 
if you can't get nothing for your birthday, I just I just say happy birthday, be done with it or whatever. Um, if I'm like with the girls, we come down to it. I'm like, if I'm not dating this girl, I'm not gonna get her no gift. Okay, that'd be a waste of my money and everything. I could have saved it on a you know something else I could use or need. You know, uh, people have this notion when it's their birthday they expect you to get them something. When my birthday came, I didn't expect no one to get anything for me. If I had the money to get stuff, I would have got it myself. You know, someone gets me something for my birthday, I'm well appreciated. I'm well grateful of it. You know, but just because it's your birthday doesn't mean someone has to get you something. Doesn't mean, but it's the thought of them that that of, of that person telling you happy birthday. That's what matters. That's what should matter in this world. Obviously, it doesn't. You know, a lot of people keep forgetting about that. You know, where did we go to the point where when it's our birthday, we want someone to always get us something? I mean, I can deal with, hey, man, happy birthday and be done with it. I appreciate it. You know, so a lot of people, they often forget about that, those kind of stuff, you know, because it's the small things in life that we take for granted that matters. You know, give it an example. Some people take using the bathroom for granted when other people can't even use the restroom themselves. You know, um, that's just an example. You know, some people say take driving for granted. Some people take working for granted. You know, some people take having a decent, good relationship for granted. And I don't mean to come on here and talk about relationships and everything. I'm just keeping it real with you. You know, um, a lot of people just don't... Um, they don't realize stuff, you know. Um, your careers, your your dreams, they all should matter to you. But you have to learn and realize that you can't tell everybody your dream. You want people to be happy for you. But the upside is they tell you stuff. They try to dissuade you from following your dreams. You know, they try to persuade you and be negative toward it. And you know, deep down inside, you are not that person. And sometimes we ask ourselves, when it's all and done, what did we become? What mattered in our lives? Who loved us the most? Who was there for us when it all was said and done? You know, and we often forget about that. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. It just depends on the person at hand. Because nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. We all came short. You know, it's okay. It's okay to be human. It's okay to acknowledge that you made mistakes or two. It's okay to be honest with yourself. It's okay to say you have good days. You, know, you have bad days. It's okay to be to open up about what you're going through. And, you know, getting psychological help for it. It's okay. You know, they say a man ain't supposed to cry. But when a lot of subs hurt a man, he breaks down inside. And it eats him up alive. And it's like he's like he has a monkey on his shoulder he can't get rid of. You know, there's a and then there are people out like that out in this world we live in today. And sometimes we forget about that because we all are all in consume, all in love with ourselves. And that's fine. But we have to be respectful of how, of how other people's feelings and emotions or what they're going through. You know, and everything. I mean, it's not easy. A lot of people think that streaming is easy. Oh, you can stream all night long and not get tired. It's easy for you to say, you ain't the one doing this. You ain't the one doing that. When they don't realize that person that's streaming has other stuff to do that they're trying to balance out their life with. You know, um, that's something to think about. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, streaming is not easy. You're going to get tired at times, but you love what you do. So with me, I'm going to try to stream early in the day or early in the nighttime. So since it's, since I live on the East Coast, it gets dark at 6 o'clock. I may try to stream, start streaming at 6 o'clock during the week. You know, um, you know, we can stream early in the week, early in the early, early morning or early afternoon like I was doing. You know, um, it's not easy. You know, the world we live in has changed so much. COVID has 
impacted everybody's lives. Have you ever thought about that? The fact that COVID has people sitting home, not being able to really socialize with people because they're afraid they catch COVID, they may die. We are in the United States of America. We should have the best care on everything, but people do not follow the jurisdiction of wear a mask, social distance, six feet apart. You know, and the upside is it is killing a lot of people. You know, frontline workers are who are in hospitals have no choice but to be in the, you know, be um, exposed to COVID. Like they have no choice and they're risking their lives day in and day out trying to save these patients. You know, salute so if you know someone who is a frontline worker who's at a nurse and who's a nurse or a doctor or any kind of field of that of that nature, you know, give them props. You know, give them the credit that they deserve because they work a lot of hours just trying to take care of somebody that you close to or you love because they got COVID. You know, you know, when COVID hits home is when someone you love or someone you knew that was close to you gets COVID and then they die and they leave behind the kids or or their wife or their husband, stuff like that. That's when it hits home for you. And COVID is nothing to play with. I hope this um, and the, hope y'all have a good Christmas going forward. And I hope y'all have a blessed new year. And I hope y'all be safe. I, w- I want everyone to be safe. You know, um, and it's not easy, but I want everybody to be safe. Let's see. I want to see something real quick. Give me a few minutes. I'm up. See what it shows me on here, talking and stuff. Checking my Twitch. Factor and being in fifth harmony, Let's and see. that moment seemed so. Oh, it does. Okay. Um. Let's see. Friendships work. Let's see what we 
I got here. Oh, man. I just need to check something real quick. I'm going, I'm going to be right back, but I'm going, what I'm going to do is play one of my jams, let y'all listen to a few of them for a little bit, and then I'm going to um, go back, go back to talking. I'm going to play one of them, I, my very first one. Um, here we go. Not here. Um. Right here, play the first one I had. This is what like, all of these songs are songs I created with an app. So we're gonna I'm gonna play a few of these today <laughs> for the rest of the stream. Let y'all listen to them. Y'all can tell me what you think. You can find it on SoundCloud. So we're gonna do this for a while. Part two of this.
This one's kind of short. It's a two-minute song, so... around the world and I ain't never coming down, okay? <laughs> uh, get jiggy with it. It's fun that I'm trying to rap my own thing for fun. My own custom song for fun on here. Give y'all a little entertainment. <laughs> for fun on it. Here they go. I've been in, I've been out a lot of times. I've been looking for many places. I've been looking for a lot of times. I've been checking my phone so many different times a day. Trying to figure out which girl's gonna call me today. Check up the text and check up the instant message. And while I'm on the road, I'm on the road, gonna go and be with me. But they ain't never ever seen this side of me. Merry Christmas to you and a happy new year, man. You know how it is. We all trying to get a good, some good gear. Good gear for the holidays, good gear for every day, good gear for Sunday. Okay, put your shoes on, get ready to go out and dance like you never danced in your life. You hear that? You hear that? First name, last name, smooth on the beat. J Money Smooth, like you know what that means. Mess up the chain, got game full speed. <laughs> Fire and wheel, W Wheel 2, 3 slash switch dot TV. Okay. Sick with it, get with it, get with everything, get loose with it. 
Have some fun in your own quarantine zone. Make sure you keep yourself in your safety zone. Oh, zone, wow. I'm just really me. You don't know what you mean. You ready for me? Are you ready for me? I'm ready for me. Are you ready for me? I'm ready for me. Are you ready for me? I walk in, and every light goes out. I walk out, and every light comes on like clockwork. Sometimes you just follow the, the beat of your own drum, you know, and following the beat of your own drum is like music to your heart, because you are the music in your soul, you are the music to your life, you gotta have some hype. enjoying being on here you know just talking I'm not playing the game right now that's going to happen soon don't worry it'll be all back to normal soon I'll tell you that much you know I mean we think about stuff all the time you know things will not always come out the way we want them to come out you know and that's how life is you know um Life will always have a way of pulling you where you need to be. It's something to think about. I mean, it's really something to you to really think about. I mean, I never thought about it like that. But growing up, for me, it was more like 
How do I get from point A to point B? How do I pass these grades? How do I get from one class into the next class? You know, um, how do I adjust with whatever's going on in my life? Or how do I find a way to get through the bad times in my life, the, the harsh times in my life, and everything else? You know, a lot of times we don't even think about it because we're just rolling with it. You know, we're just rolling with the punches. You know, and people sometimes don't understand what we're going through. But unless we tell our story, they will see what we went through in our lives. You know? Exactly where it is on my page. Um... You know, um, let's see what we got here. Um, let me change it so y'all can see what I'm looking at. I don't know if you are seeing or able to see what I'm looking at. Oh, you are. Okay, good. Good. I can minimize this for a little bit. Um, let me show you the video. I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to show it where you can find it. So it's going to be in uploads. It's going to be right here. Um, this is from a previous stream, and I showed my visual novel game, um, Sins and Misdeeds. Um, and, uh, and another one I'm singing, I'm singing church songs. I, um, so that's, um, you can also find me on LinkedIn because, you know, people are always looking for jobs. You can always find me on LinkedIn. Um, I may post this one real quick to my LinkedIn page and stuff. So what I'm going to, um... I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to post this link or whatever to my LinkedIn page so people can see, see one, one of my streams and stuff. Um, just give me one moment. This ain't going to take long. Let's see. show you this game right here. Yeah, if you can see it. Show you this game right here. Yeah, if you can see it. See it. See what this thing works. See. Okay. See if, I, if it works. All right. So, everybody, um, I'm going to be um, going over this 
game I did a few weeks, a few uh, months ago, for a project I for uh, for school. Um, game is called Sins and Misdeeds. What's up? What's up? Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be going over this. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Which I'm going over this game that I did for a project for school. Um, for my degree. Um, how you doing? Thank you for thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Um, going over this game called Sins and Misdeeds that I had help with. What's up? What's up with you? What's up with you? I decided to do a stream with everybody. So this game is called Sins and Misdeeds. Um, you'll see what happens when I launch it. Hopefully it works. Okay. Does it show it? Uh, it doesn't show it. Hold on. It's supposed to show it. What's up with you? What's up? How you doing? Um, I'm trying to get this thing to work because it's my first time showing this. Um, let's see. What's up with you? What's up with you? What's up with you? Um, let's see. Hopefully this works. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Um, is it working? All right, let's see. Got to change capture. Uh, there you go. And click done. Okay, here. There we go. This is the game. I understand, man. I understand. Um, let's see what we got here. This is my... Um, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. This is called Sins and Misdeeds. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, this is called um, Sins and Misdeeds. That's the name of the game. And um, this is a project I did um, for my GCIP for my master's degree. And it's my first time showing you guys this. Um, stay tuned. On Sundays, I will be doing a stream. A next gen console stream on the um, once I get things set up on the PlayStation 5. So um, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be on Sundays. So let's see. I must let's see this thing work. I'm gonna click start on my end and so I can see how how it works. beginning of it. This is a visual novel game. So that's what it is, the visual novel game. So in this game you decide if you want to join do I do I want to join him inside or join him in court in court um, with his client. So um this is what it happens when you join inside. You know, okay, hold on. You know what? I may just, if I may, if I can find it, um, show you guys the um, game. The uh, Sins of Mystics game. I can at least show you that. If you haven't seen it on my page, my YouTube, I can show you that game. So give me one moment to figure out how I did it the last time. I'll be right back. And this is a visual novel game.
And I'm, what I'm going to try to do is play the game slowly. And um, so y'all can see what happens. So I'm going to play it slowly all the way through. So, uh, let's see.
that's the end of it. So, <sighs> and I'm probably am going to upload this to YouTube. So, but I want y'all to see it again. But the next time, hopefully, I'll be. I should be on Wednesday night. Hopefully. Um. Eight forty-two. Since I'm not playing no games, I'm not gonna be on as long. But I overall appreciate y'all watching. I really do. It means a whole lot to me. You know, having decent supporters and decent viewers that means a lot. And it's not easy. You know, and sometimes you ask yourself. Who really is going to remember you? Did you really touch someone's life or inspire somebody? Those are the questions we often must ask ourselves. Uh, once again, I should be on Wednesday. Um... Yeah, I should be on Wednesday, okay? Um, I thank y'all for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being a good audience. I'll see you guys in the next live stream on Twitch. This is W Williams23. Signing off now. Peace. End stream.